EPS4. Hey guys, this is Elemental Tacos, also known as Jim Jong Marshalls, if you want to call me that. I'm back after a few days of not uploading anything. I do um, want, you may know that tomorrow is the day they release the Ascendance DLC for PlayStation and PC. Uh, so I wanted to do an Exo Zombies on Outbreak, which is the first map that came with Havoc, and for some reason I never got around to doing a video on it until now. So I decided now would be the best of time to do it since next map pack will be coming up soon. Um, I'm going to be having fun playing that because I bought the season pass. And, uh, well, I just wanted to show you guys some gameplay and go over some details on Outbreak. If you guys have not bought the map pack, I would suggest doing so because the maps are really cool. So anyway, when you start out, you're in this room. Well, it's not a room because you're outside. Sorry about that. I, I failed you guys in naming it correctly. Anyway, there's a power switch for every room or area, which is unlike original zombies from Treyarch. Uh, but, as you can see, I just turned that one on a minute ago. And, um, I'm going to be killing some zombies here. But, right now, you don't start out with an exosuit. If you did not know that, which you probably have learned a lot about exozombies by now, but in case you haven't, you now know that you do not start out with an exosuit. But, um... The map in general is pretty small. It's not the same size as Nocturne Toten the way it started out in Treyarch Zombies. That's tiny. But this map is probably going to be the smallest of the Exo Zombies maps um, that I foresee, probably. Um, now we're skipping over to gameplay where I have opened the first door, which is generally the place all everybody goes when they start playing. Um, on the walls are these little green things sometimes you can go by and pick up some credits which are basically the equivalent of points uh... also power-ups are returning except they're most of them are about the same as the ones in Treyarch Zombies but they got different names sometimes they do slightly different things but basically I've got the equivalent of insta-kill and double points on which is known as uh... hyper damage and multiplier um, and as we continue on, that was the uh, Exo Health machine I just passed, which is basically the equivalent of uh, Juggernog from, or was it the Exo Health? I may not have passed Exo Health, sorry. That might have been Exo Soldier or Slam or whatever that was. Anyway, there's another one of those green things in the background you can see. And um, I'm going over there to pick up some points because I like money. Um, for those of you who don't know, you can also, there's, similar to, like, survival mode, almost, from Modern Warfare 3 or whatever, and, uh, which that was a pretty fun game mode. You can pick up these orbital drops, Alice is watching, uh, that give you, sometimes they'll give you credits, sometimes they'll give you things like a little power-up thing, camouflage, that kind of stuff. Uh, you can see that I just went and did that. And uh, still, I'm on round four, and I have not gotten an exosuit yet, uh, but we'll get to that later. This is basically the equivalent of the mystery box, which is a 3D printer. It gives you random weapons, and you can somewhat to a degree choose what you pick up from the box, because it, you can see what's cycling through. Although you will probably not get what's there, you'll probably get what's the next weapon in the cycle. And also, a <laughs> again, another equivalent of something for Treyarch has returned, which are the, basically the equivalent of the demon dogs, which are zombie dogs. And they're basically the zombies that were in the kennels that got infected and became zombies, as you can probably guess. Also, here something rarely happens. Uh, the credit machine things overload sometimes. will give you random huge amounts of points by standing next to them for a certain amount of time. That happened to happen to me in this gameplay, so I decided to show it to you. I'm also using a camouflage power-up that I got from an orbital drop, and I upgraded a weapon. In this, when you upgrade a weapon, it's only 2,500 points, and it's, but it's not as powerful. And you can upgrade 20 times. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Um, 
and I hope you guys get the map pack if you do not have it. So, a quick shout out to Raise Clips and to Big Mama 1122 on the PS4. And guys, just remember, Ablo and Inglés.